I had to do a World War II thing, and as part of that, I had to read Mein Kampf. Uh, and in case you're lucky enough not to know what that is, Hitler wrote a book. Hitler wrote a book uh, where he said, in bullet point, here's everything I'm going to do. And the world read it and said, mm, bullshit. And then he called our bluff. He just <laughs> called our bluff. That's the reason that I've read both of Sarah Palin's books. <laughs> to reiterate, Hitler won Palin dose. Just keep score on that one. Um, so I'm trying to find a copy of this book to get. And uh, there's a lot of different copies out there on the, on the internet. No one's ever made a copy that doesn't have a mega fuck swastika on the front cover. Like, they've never thought to. There's not a copy of this book that you can read in public and not get stabbed in the face. Not that that's a problem 99% of the time. That's kind of fine. Uh, but it turns out that all these different books are wildly different translations of the book. Like, I didn't know that German was that poetic of a language. Like, I, there's one word that you scream at a baby, and I don't know what the rest of it. I didn't know you could... So I go on to Amazon to try and research which of these books might be the best translation, and that's where I found the new generation of real American heroes. I know our grandparents died knee-deep in their friends on the beaches of Normandy, but you haven't seen real American heroism until you've seen a guy on 2012 willing to go on the internet and say, I give this book zero stars. <laughs> Or would, if that was an, uh, there's one star, the minimum is one star, I had to give it the, it's an implied zero, I think you get that from my, Hitler was a dumb, he was just an ass, he was a, he was an assy dumb, what a poo, you know what, put my full name on this, I want my grandkids to know where I stood, which to be fair to Hitler's book, uh, that's not really reviewing the book. But neither are the five-star reviews where somebody's like, let's have a gypsy barbecue. Because those guys can't have read the book either because based on how they're writing, they, don't, they could, it's a dense book. They wouldn't have known what to do. <laughs> this creates a real problem for me because I know they're bad ideas. I just need the best translation of those bad ideas, because otherwise I'm going to wind up with a copy. If you got a copy that was really badly translated, you could wind up reading it at 3 a.m. You're like, Okay, you get past some of the Jew stuff, and there's actually some good ideas here. Can't believe I'm saying this, can't, but in this chapter, there's this really brilliant idea on public funding for the arts. Uh, <laughs> has PBS read Biden Conf? I'm gonna mail this to them. I'm sure they'll appreciate. <laughs> or you realize it's a bad translation, and you have to buy a second copy of my, I can't explain away the one. No one believes the one. If you have two, Here's a pop quiz as to whether or not you should have two. Are you Adolf Hitler? Yes. Even he didn't have two copies of Mein Kampf. That's the copy I make my notes in, but that's the one I take with me to the beach. Oh, that third one? Well, funny story. I got the two and they just didn't look right when they were, you know, separate. But a third one, the swastikas lose their power and just look like angry snowflakes. It's kind of Christmassy. It's a little Christmassy. I, I think it's nice. Uh, so I guess what I'm saying is what I hoped the review would look like, my dream review, is that somebody would put three stars. Hey, are you trying to find a copy of Mein Kampf for non-asshole purposes? <laughs> if so, if, if your problem is finding the best translation, this edition is your final solution. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> <laughs>